Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page 117 in your student journal, page 117. And today our objective is, today I will use the distributive property to multiply. So today I will use the distributive property to multiply. So let's look at what this word distributive property means. Okay, so here is an example and the definition. So they're just reminding us that the numbers that we multiply together are factors and our answer is a product. So our answer to a multiplication problem is product. They tell us the distributive property. It says multiplying a sum by a number is the same as multiplying each addend in the sum by the number and then adding the products. Wow, that's hard to even understand what that means. It's easier to show it than to explain it. So what they've done, and I'm gonna skip a step, is they've broken or decomposed the number 24 into 20 plus four. And that's where that is. And then they decompose the 73 into 70 plus three. And then what distribute kind of means is to pass out. So they passed out the 20 to the 70, and that's where that is, 20 times 70. And then they also passed out the 20 to the three. So it's 20 times three. So they passed out each of these split factors to each of the others. Then they went to the four and they passed it out to the 70, four times 70, and then they passed it out to the three, four times three. So that's what distributive property means, is that you are, so you're kind of distributing, which means passing out parts of the factors to the other parts of the factor. So let's look at the steps, because the steps are pretty good this time. So we're gonna follow them pretty closely. It says one, we're going to decompose the first factor into tens and ones. Then we're going to decompose the second factor into tens and ones. And then this is where we get into this distributing. We're gonna rewrite, so each part of the second factor is distrib distributed, distributed, sorry, distributed to each part of the first factor. Okay, that part's where it's confusing. This is kind of just our passing out part. We're gonna be passing out and I'll explain that. And then we're gonna find the product by multiplying, then adding the partial products. Okay, so friends, like usual, I think it makes more sense to see it than to read about it. So I'm gonna get started on my first one, and I'm gonna follow the first two steps, but then I'm gonna show you how I kind of will pass it out. So here is my first problem. It says 24 times 73. Okay, so I'm gonna just rewrite it so I can have it right here. Okay, so the first step says I'm gonna decompose the first factor. So instead of 24, I'm gonna decompose that into 20 plus four. And then I'm gonna rewrite the rest of the thing. Okay, so that was step one, I decomposed it. Step two is I'm gonna decompose the second factor. So I have 20 plus four times 70 plus three. So I just broke that up, kind of like when we do expanded form. Okay, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Okay, this is where I'm going to be passing out. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of use my highlighter so you can see it. I'm gonna take the 20 and distribute it to the 70. So I'm gonna say 20 times 70 Okay, then I'm also going to take the 20 and distribute it to the three. So I'm gonna say plus 20 times three plus, okay, so I have nothing here to pass out. I don't have the 20, sorry, to pass out. So now I'm gonna go on, so the 20 is already done, now I'm gonna go on to the four and pass that one out. So I'm gonna go, the four is gonna get passed out now or distributed. 
plus four times 70, and then I'm gonna distribute or pass out the four to the three, plus four times three. So that's where the distributing comes in. So I pass each of those factors out to the other one. Okay, the reason why this one's kind of nice is because once I do that, the multiplication's pretty easy if I know kind of the zero trick. So the zero trick is two times seven is 14, and I'm gonna add how many zeros? One, two. So 20 times 70 is 1,400. Okay, 20 times three is, two times three is six, and then I only have one zero to add. So 20 times three is 60, plus four times seven is 28, and I only have one zero to add, so it's actually four times 70 is 280, plus four times three is 12. So these are our partial products that we kind of had when we did the area model and we had all those partial products. Our final step is we're gonna add these partial products. So we have to come together and add them. Okay, so I have 1,400 um, plus 60 plus 280 plus 12. Okay, so what do we get? We get two, six plus eight is 14 plus one is 15. One plus four is five plus two is seven and one. So my answer is 1,752. Okay, so I'm gonna do another one of those for you friends. Okay, here is my next one. And it says, again, I'm gonna multiply using the distributive property. So I'm gonna start by just writing my problem. Okay, so step one is I'm gonna decompose this. So instead of 83, I'm gonna say 80 plus three times 56. Step two is I'm gonna decompose this one. So now I have 80 plus three times, and this will be 50 plus six. Okay, so now here's the work. Now is where we distribute. So we're gonna pass out, not to itself, but to the other one. So my first one is 80 times 50 plus, and then I can take the 80 and pass it out to the six. So plus 80 times six plus, okay, the 80 can't go anywhere else, so now I'm gonna go to the three plus, three times 50 plus three times 60. Okay, so that's probably the trickiest step, is that distributing. Now that I distributed, I can just solve using what I call my zero trick. So eight times five is 40, and let's add two zeros plus eight times six is 48, and let's add one zero, plus three times five is 15, and let's add one zero, plus three times six is 18, and let's add one zero. So these are our partial products. So now we just need to add all of our partial products to get our final product. Okay, so what do I get? Zero, eight plus eight is 16, plus five is 21. Two plus four is six, seven, eight. So I'm getting my final product is 4,810. Okay, let's get ready to try some of these together. We are on page 118. So we're on page 118, and here is our first one. And it says 54 times 43. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I want you to first write the problem in the center. 
54 times 43. Okay, and our first step is we are going to decompose our first factor. So instead of 54, we're going to say 50 plus 4 times 43. Okay, now we're going to decompose our second factor. So we have 50 plus 4 times 40 plus 3. Okay, so I know you don't have your highlighters, friends, so we're going to kind of use our fingers. Now we're at our distributing. So we decompose both factors and we're ready to distribute. So we start here and we're going to pass that out or distribute to the 40. So 50 times 40 plus, so if I went to the 40, now I can go to the 3. So 50 times 3 plus, there's nowhere else for the 50 to go because it went to the 40, it went to the 3, so now let's go to the 4. 4 to the 40, so 4 times 40 plus 4 times 3, and then there's nowhere else to go. So we did our distributing, now let's do our solving using our zero trick. Five times four is 20, and let's add one, two zeros. Plus five times three is 15, and let's add one zero. Plus four times four is 16, and let's add one zero. Plus four times three is 12. So we have four partial products. Let's find some space to add those. So I have 2,150, 160, and 12. Okay, so we get two, five plus six is 11, plus one is 12, one plus zero plus one plus one is three, and then two. So our final product then is 2,000, 322. Okay, let's try another one of those. And remember, you always can stop the video to make sure you have a good example. So we have 27 times 46. Okay, so we're going to first decompose our 27 into 20 plus, sorry, 20 plus 7 times 46. Then we're gonna decompose our 46, so we have 20 plus seven times 40 plus six. And now we're gonna do our hard step of distributing. So we're gonna pass out our 20. So 20 to the 40, so 20 times 40 plus, the 20 can also go to the six. 20 times six plus, there's nowhere else for the 20 to go, so let's go to the 7. 7 to the 40 plus 7 to the 6. Okay, so what do we have? We have 2 times 4 is 8, and let's add our two zeros. Plus 2 times 6 is 12, and let's add our zero. Plus 7 times 4 is 28, and let's add our 0. Plus 7 times 6 is 42. Okay, so we have four partial products. You have to find some space to add them. I'm going to come up here. So I have 800 plus 120 plus 280 plus 42. I need to add vertically. So I get 2. 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 4 is 14. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 1 more is 10, plus 2 is 12. So I'm getting 1,242 as my final product. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be continuing on your own with some practice. Have a great day.